Goalball is a Paralympic team sport that requires skill, agility and most importantly fitness. And this is why the GB team have come to York this week to finesse their cardio as they build up to future tournaments. Jamie Salter is from York St John and is happy to see the links between themselves and the team and hopes today's work can help. I think we've got some coaches of goalball here at the university. They're based here at the uni and, and they coach the local goalball team. And then the GB guys were in touch with them and said, you know, we want some more support. So just through those links, they've got in touch with us. Um, and you know, uh, we've set up a contract and we're going to be providing some support for them leading up to October next year, which is one of their big competitions. Uh, so today is our first, first real uh, support day, as we call it, with them. So this is the first time that we've met the players. Uh, they've come in today, we've had a little bit of, a, of a, you know informal get-together to start with. But we, we are doing some fitness testing with them, so we're going to run them through some testing that we think gives us a good indication of where they are relative to where they need to be in goal ball, so different, different aspects. Um, that's this morning, then we'll have some lunch, and then this afternoon he's always just looking at them in the gym, uh, how they move, what type of exercises we can program for them, and then over the next year we're going to be kind of building their fitness uh, in the gym and also on the court. Uh, to try and improve their performance. As someone with a keen interest in the sport, he's excited to have the team at their sports centre. It's, it's really exciting. Um, it's completely different for me personally and, and my colleague Dale as well because we come from very much football and rugby backgrounds, so we have, have a lot of experience of working in those fields. And for us to be working with visually impaired athletes like this in a very niche sport that's very under-supported and, and you know, underfunded, uh, it gives us a real, it's a, it's a challenge, you know, us applying our principles of strength and conditioning and sports therapy to a niche group in a specialised field is really a challenge, but it's exciting. Kay is the team's head coach and explain why they're using the York base this week. So we're here to start our Great Britain's pro uh, programme within the SMC, so strength and conditioning, uh, and the partnership we've now got with York St John University. Uh, so basically we are looking to take our SNC provision to the next level uh, and the partnership with Yacht St John will help us to, to do that. So today's about getting the baseline uh, of where, where our guys are, uh, where they need to be. Uh, we've got big championships in October uh, 2020, uh, so we're gearing up, for, gearing up for that and the preparation starts now even though it's a year and a bit out. Um, and the, the guys basically, they need to leave today knowing that the SNC is really good. Uh, got a really good rapport with Dave and Jamie, uh, the SNC leads. Uh, they know the venue and they're, they're really happy with what, what the plan is moving forward. She has big ambitions for the team in the long run. Yeah, so Go UK uh, want two teams at the Paralympic Games. Uh, so we've got our women's squad, our Great Britain women's squad, that have got uh, another shot uh, at Tokyo. Uh, so they, they've got a tournament in October. Uh, if they finish top two there, um, they potentially they'll, they'll get a spot at Tokyo. Uh, but long term, we've got two teams at the next Paralympic Games uh, in Paris in 2024. With the Paris 2024 Paralympics being their current goal, the GB team are sowing the early seeds for success. And as they aim to bring through new talent, programmes such as these are only going to make their team even more professional. Rory Wards, That's TV.